Hello and welcome to Wing In It. And once more, we're back with another Wingspan tournament game. This one again is from the Elegant Sunbird Scuffle. And we are here in this knockout round in a best of three. So we've already played game one. So if you haven't seen that already, I would recommend you check that one out. It was an Oceania game and it was a pretty close one, but we did come out on the winning side there. And that means we come here into game two of this best of three and we're going to be playing without Oceania. So we've got to adjust very quickly here change the mindset, get back into that baseboard mentality. Um, and yeah, going second as well does make things a little bit more challenging. So let's jump here into this one. And let's see, do we have anything amazing in the tray? Got a good old friend Horned Lark there, love to see that. Maybe not gonna be the color bird you pick up straight away turn one though. So um, we'll see what my opponent's gonna pick. And then we'll see what we've got to work with in our starting hand and what we can yeah, look to do here in this round one. And all right, here we go. What are we gonna get here in our starting hand? Okay, not a great one. It's 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 never nice when the first two birds you see are both these migrating birds. So we don't like those over here. Um, definitely not the kind of bird I was looking for. Look, look, the bird's got a K. Well, tricky ones. Prairie manager and behaviorist could go either way to be honest on either of this take a look what my parents gone wow okay four birds they did this in game one as well four birds uh but just the one food of course this time without the nectar so man okay that's intimidating um and a bit concerning so what do we do about it well bb is probably the one um that we're gonna look to in this game and maybe stick that on the wetlands legs and start drawing cards um, to be honest, Magpie could be an option as well. Um, it does hit Prairie Manager. It does actually help a Behaviorist, I suppose, as well, in some way, if we're going to go for that first column. Um, and yeah, even Turtle Dove could be some universe in which playing those as the first three birds is logical. Um, I might take a bit of convincing on that, but yeah, that would, that would be something, I suppose. Um, the, the reason I'm thinking Phoebe and Magpie is Magpie is very easy to play with the worms that you get from the Phoebe and it, it just maybe allows a bit more flexibility. Uh, and what else I keep and i say it does kind of help um, on these bonus cards. But normally I'd look to keep something like this with the Star Nest if it helped with some of these in the round goals. And yeah, not really the case here. So, oh boy, this is difficult. This is a difficult starting hand. Do I actually, do I go for Margarating Birds? I slagged it off at the start, but does this work? Go for the Sparrow. Because it is playable with the Phoebe Worm. Uh, it would sort of maybe help for that second in a round. <laughs> um, it doesn't help for any of this. So that makes things tricky. But yeah, I'm just thinking here, like you could put Phoebe in the grasslands, you lay eggs, you get your Sparrow down, start drawing cards. You've at least got something a bit better. Maybe you can do it the other way. Uh, maybe I should do something like this. Wetland Phoebe, play the Sparrow, lay eggs. And suddenly you've got two wetland birds. Um, and you're drawing more cards. Honestly, that could work. I might have talked myself into that, and I never thought I would, but um, I think we do go for that. We'll keep Prairie Manager because, yeah, I don't know, Behaviorist is just such a, such a tricky one. Although, do I think I'm going more like to get three points off Behaviorist or Prairie Manager? Let's get Behaviorist. I'm just going to make all the bad decisions here at the start, but I think this could work. Play Phoebe in the wetlands, spare in the grass, lay eggs, start drawing cards. Um, and yeah, go from there maybe, but... Oh dear, not a great starting hand. Not a great starting hand, but it can potentially all turn around. Uh, depending, of course, what we're able to find. So that was very quick. Drawing, not the horned lark. They drew the crow, so okay. Um, that is... Yeah, that is an interesting one, but we are going to play. I think we go Phoebe. Do we go Phoebe in the wetlands? I think we might go Phoebe in the wetlands here. Um, just because I think I will need to draw quite aggressively here. You could go either way, but yeah, let's go wetland Phoebe. Play the sparrow in the grass and lay eggs. And yeah, start drawing. And to be honest, something like that hobby for a cheap bird that only costs one worm. I've seen much worse. A painted white start. Pretty good. Opening bird for them. Nice brown power, getting a bit more food. But it's more worms, and we're going to be throwing worms at them, maybe. So, um, see how helpful that's going to be. But yeah, our plan is uh, our plan is being set in motion here. So we'll see how this is going to play. They, of course, take food. No surprise. We're going to lay eggs. No surprise. Move the sparrow down. Yeah, 
actually get some use out of this migrating power. So we'll see in the long run just how useful this is versus if I just played the Phoebe, laid eggs and start drawing. But um, yeah, I think being able to see more cards at the start is useful. And especially with the center round goal, I could equally just draw cards um, all round here and, and maybe do something there just to try and get extra points uh, while also seeing more cards. But we'll wait and see. Wait and see. I, I do sort of think that maybe they might not have a wetland bird, given how urgently they picked up that crow. Um, it could also be a sign that they are going to go grasslands, and maybe they just wanted to block it so that I couldn't have it, because it would potentially be strong for me. But I'm sort of hoping it's the former. I'm sort of hoping that is going to be their wetland bird. But no, green herons. Okay, they are going to make use of these worms one way or another. Uh, that's going to be interesting to observe. But yeah, we're going to draw cards... I wasn't expecting a wood duck, but I'll definitely take it. Um, okay. <laughs> well, now what do we do? Um, hmm. Decisions, decisions. Well, I think I might now go for this house sparrow. Just because when you go wood duck, you kind of want some way of using maybe some extra food. So, yeah. And I think leave the leave this sparrow here for now take the worm. Yeah, okay, actually, I could sort of... Oh, well. If I can get my hands on that wagtail, that'd be very nice as well, but that may be gone, because um, that's going to be excellent for them as well. Um, but yeah, I think I could do... I think I could do something here where I draw cards again, get the extra worm, move the sparrow up, then take food, and then I can play the wood duck. Yeah, okay, they did take it. <laughs> Maybe no surprise. Oh no, they played the buster to pick it up. Interesting. Okay. Man, so how are they gonna how are they gonna get the wagtail down and I suppose they're gonna lay eggs and they're gonna get a free worm off me. And then yeah, they're gonna play their wagtail. I don't know. We'll kind of see. I don't think I'm gonna let that affect my uh, decision making. I'm not gonna change my mind here, but um blue heron's quite nice. Uh, we'll see what else we can find. Uh okay, maybe actually. Maybe we do Maybe play that <laughs> as well. Um, but I don't know. Giving out giving out berries to uh, to wagtail seems a bit crazy. But okay, so if they are going to use the wagtail, so they have to lay eggs. They have to take food to get the food for the wagtail, and then they have to play the wagtail. And then uh, they're only going to have one card left at the end of this round, I think. Um, so I think as long as we end with two, I think we should be okay. Um, and yeah. I don't know. I'm sort of I'm sort of tempted to, to hold off and draw cards again, but hmm. maybe maybe there is something we could do. Let's let's yeah, let's let's move up here and maybe actually no, I think we do need to give out the worm. Um, but yeah, I don't know. We got some. Like they got options. Actually, maybe what we do, I think this sparrow could function as a bit of a second forest bird, at least early on. Um, so we could take food, play the wood duck, and then lay eggs again. We're probably going to need these eggs later to play more birds. And actually having the sparrow up in the forest, as I say, just to get that bit more food at this stage of the game could, could be useful. Uh, but yeah, I'm just trying to work out what their what their plan is um, in terms of using this wagtail. So I think you gotta I think you gotta centre your strategy around this. Um, it's such a strong bird, even back on these baseboards, really really powerful. So we'll see what they can do. But yeah, okay. Um, hmm. I I kind of want to keep this Oriole because it's just such big points. But the heron is also great, and the sparrow is also potentially great. And I do kind of need to throw a card here just so I'm making sure I get um, what I what I need in terms of food. So, hmm. Yeah, I think uh, I think the Oriole goes. Um, sorry to say. 
but I think it does. And yeah, we'll take these two seeds, move the sparrow down here. And then yeah, play uh play wood duck. And then we can lay eggs and move that move that sparrow back up, and I think that works out okay. Um, but really we are going to need that second forest bird. We're going to need something, I mean, if it's a food gainer, great, because we've got this house sparrow. That's kind of the reason for keeping this. It's a bit of a contingency, um, which is, is very, very nice. Um, and definitely going to help out a lot, but yeah. I'm, I'm almost more interested in what my opponent's doing here than what I'm doing. Because uh, I do like a good wagtail game, and this is an interesting... An interesting sort of um, branch point almost of this game, uh, even so early on. Because, um, yeah, they are going to need some extra food, but then you've got to throw the card to get more food, and then you might not have a card for the center round goal. Do you care about that extra point? Um, yeah. Lots going on. Lots going on for them, but yeah, I could definitely, definitely see them going for that. But again, kind of like game one. Um, they kept lots of birds and sort of not immediately rushed all of them down, so maybe keep us some stuff in reserve. Keep us some stuff up their sleeve. They're drawing cards. Okay. So they're not going wagtail then. They're going for the end of round. Um, they're going for the end of round. Well, I think I'm gonna play I think I'm gonna play the wood duck anyway. Because I think the alternative would be to draw cards twice, and I think that's just a bit silly. Um I do want to get this down. Sooner rather than later, and I don't know, we can see, like, if uh, if drawing cards <laughs> ties the end of round, then maybe we do it, but I think I just want to lay eggs and, and get myself set up for round two, um, and sort of go from there. I mean, we do have a cat bird, so maybe, maybe they have to draw cards again and just block that, because that would be very good with the wood duck. Um, but I don't think it was necessarily worth me um, going and drawing cards there. Just to get that, I say I think it's important um, for my tempo in this game. Just to get this wood duck down and actually start using it. So we'll see. We'll see what their approach is going to be. But yeah, lots of cards, lots of cards that they're holding on to. Um, and yeah, maybe maybe Wagtail is going to wait until round two, um, if even get used at all. So they did go pick it up. It was a store potion revealed though, so that would have been very, very nice for them. Not to be. Uh, but okay, Cabo's not there. I have an easy decision. Because, um, yeah, Ender goal is way out of sight. So we'll lay eggs. Move uh, yeah, move the sparrow up. In this slightly strange board that we have got going on. So um, what looked like we might have been able to sneak an Ender Round goal when we get absolutely pummeled, but that does kind of happen with these kinds of end around goals like the basic hat but coming into round two we've got a forest bird straight off the bat so um quite happy with that go and take food and yeah i think uh take a rat take a seed take a maybe take a fish i'll take a seed i don't know i'll try and get a bit of flexibility um and yeah i think we probably do move you down with the view to playing this screenshot so black headed curl actually could be kind of fun to to use that but yeah, we're sort of uh, we're sort of set in our ways here, so I'll get rid of you. Oh, and Puff is going to come up again. <laughs> um, I think did I did I reveal that in the last game? I either revealed it or it definitely came up at some point. So, uh, but yeah, just keep drawing cards. That's kind of what their approach is going to be. Um, maybe not time when they want to. And whoops, well you're going to want that as well, and you're not going to get your hands on it. So <laughs> uh, I'll be having that. Thanks. Um, and snow bunting as well. Ooh, are they doing any tucking? No, not yet, but maybe later. Um, okay, I mean, kill deer, do we? <laughs> do we use that? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think we need it. Um, I don't think we need it. I think we go full forest here. I think we play the owl and we keep, um, we keep committing with this. I mean, it is tempted to go kill deer and, and lay some eggs and get some cards, but. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm sticking to my guns here. I'm sticking to my guns, so we'll play Screech Hunt. To be honest, maybe we block the Sparrow in, because we can go Screech our Bunting, and then when we double play later, that is a behaviorous column done. And then we've even got the Sparrow for another option in a later column. 
but okay. They're laying eggs. Maybe not too surprising. Um, yeah, I think it's time to get this creature down. I do like that red star that's uh, looking at me uh, in the tray. So I think if I can pick that up here, very much worth it. Um, again, just with this house sparrow, more food is more points. So definitely make the use of that and just cycle the feeder a bit more and get the food that you're looking for. Um, and potentially help this Greek child as well uh, with some more dice to work with. But yeah, also still uh, still got this end around to contend with as well. Birds and grass and so. We'll see what we can do there. Um, definitely my opponent has got some stuff to play, so they still got that hooded crow, but that's probably not going to make an appearance. I suppose maybe that's another reason why we didn't want to go kill deer, knowing that they've already got something to defend against us. Uh, but they are taking food, so... Not throwing cards, though. Which is interesting, given the volume of cards they've got and the lack of food. Uh, but not to worry, we'll take food ourselves. Screech us not going to hit off one, um, but I don't think we expect it to. And yeah, I think we do grab this red star here. I think we do grab that, so... Um, we can now play it, we can take food, and then we kind of have a bit of a choice. We could do Snow Bunting, we could do Sparrow. Maybe it depends a bit how much food we've got, but I think probably... If they play a Tucky Bird, I'm going to want to get this slow bunting down straight away, so um, it's nice to sort of have that as an option. Hobby, though, the bird we toyed with the idea of doing that with in round one uh, being used against us, so not to worry. Um, oh, no, we're not going to take food. What am I doing? We're playing the Red Star, of course. Um, <laughs> let's let's stick to the plan if we're going to make one, so yeah, get the Red Star down. And this is definitely going to help us. Um, definitely going to help us So Only 20 points on the board. A little on the low side, but I'm hoping... Yeah. With these birds in reserve, I mean, just a nice wetland double play. I think we can get six off Behaviorist here. If we get a nice, um, you know, white and no power bird. We've already got grasslands for two columns. Uh, we've got forest for two columns, and we just need to sort out that wetlands as well. So that will hopefully um, sort itself out, but... We will see how that goes. But yeah, we're going to take some food. Um, hope for some seeds. That's not what we were quite looking for. Um, so maybe hold off on the, um, on the Sparrow for now. But yeah, I think we'll do something like this. Just to give ourselves a reroll. And maybe get some more seeds. Hopefully. No. Sometimes if you ask nicely. Or if you hope it's going to happen. But Savannah Sparrow. Okay. That is a very nice option. Does kind of scupper my, uh, <laughs> my behaviourist plans. Um, funny how this game has a way of doing that sometimes. But yeah, um, okay, I think we probably do that. I think we probably double play. Um, because it is going to help us for the center round. Because unless they've got a double play bird, if they're taking food now as well. I don't know, maybe they play the Wagtail. Maybe they're still going to commit to that. Could they do that? Yeah. So they could play Wagtail and then play something else. Uh, I think this double play, either way, it's either going to take us from a loss to a tie or it's going to take us from a title win so well worth doing um and to be honest maybe snowbirds could go in the grass on the in the wetlands instead of the grass so maybe we do this given that they're actually not playing any tucking birds yet um even though we can't use this house sparrow i think we do i think we do get that down here so um fully on blocking the white crown sparrow but it's it's all the sparrows we're just going sparrow heavy in this grasslands um, and sort of doing an accidental ethologist as well, <laughs> while also trying to hit behaviorist. But um, yeah, that was a nice find. Get that double play bird in. Uh, potentially, as I say, get some end around points. So there is Wagtail. It is making an appearance, but yeah, it's definitely on. I don't know, is it on the late side? I think I would have liked to see that go down around one, but you can definitely still make a strong usage out of Wagtail, um, even only playing it in round two. And yeah, loads of cards in hand. Um, we know they've got some good stuff in there, for sure. Uh, maybe they're going to play this cat bird. No, they're going to play the crow, but not get any points, because maybe did I lay eggs once? I don't know. Maybe it's the only grass and bird they had, but they do get a tie on the end of round. And we come here into round. No, they didn't get a tie. Or they didn't get a tie, I should say, because they didn't lay eggs. But we come here into round number three. We come here into round number three. We've got some nice options in the tray. Sprague's Pippet. And Stella's J, both kind of jump at me. 
Um, but we are going to take food so that we can grab at least one of those. So can we get some seeds? We can. Lots of them coming up. Screech Owl is going to continue to disappoint. It's really Warbler is a nice find. Um, let me still go with the Celeste J. Um, I could sort of see the appeal with the extra seeds. Um, I can definitely see the appeal there. It's basically an extra point every time I use it. Um, is maybe a bit more expensive. And maybe Cerulean really Warbler with all these birds I'm playing. I'm going to take a punt on the bonus card. Let's go with it. Although, Flycatcher, actually, oh, that's pure money right there. Because I am desperately in need of eggs, and I've got lots of these cavity spaces, including potentially this. So, um, Okay, well, that was a short-lived Cerulean Warbler. Uh, but I think you have to go, because, yeah, I think just everything else here is much, much too valuable. So, um, yeah, I think we can... I think we could take food. If we take food, we lay eggs. We play the J. We take food. And then maybe we play the Flycatcher, or maybe we save the Flycatcher. We'll see. They're getting a bit more card access on the go. Um, yeah, I think while we've got lots of seeds, definitely want to go and grab those. Screecher, come on, you've got four dice this time. What are you doing, my friend? Not helping me. Great hit, though. Okay. Oh, so many good birds. <laughs> so many good birds. And it's another cavity space. Um, that would be good for the flycatcher. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I think we go with that over the J. I think we go with that over the J. It's okay. I think we. Man, still no tucking birds. Um, I think we do. Oh, wow, twenty nine points. I was hoping for more than that at this point. We'll do great tip. Uh, oh no, we need to lay eggs first. Eggs, great tip. Food. I think they're going to beat me on this in a round, to be honest, because, you know, Wagtail doing Wagtail things. Um, they do need to still draw cards. Can they play two more birds? Maybe. If they're cheap. We'll kind of wait and see. But yeah, I think, um, I think we'll do what we can. But acknowledge that it's uh, it's going to be difficult. Actually, do we... No, I don't think it matters. I was gonna say. We'll put them all on the Sparrow, just if I'm thinking ahead to that last turn around. But I think we should have lots of birds with no eggs on them anyway, so shouldn't be too much of a worry. Um, but yeah, we can do... We can do Great Tip. We can take food. And then probably play the Slow Bunting. And yeah, save ourselves up for a nice... Well, actually, maybe we want to play the Flycatcher first. So I don't really want legs again this game, um, and this will. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to use up the eggs that I need to play the flycatcher by playing the snow bunting. So, oh, lots of decisions to be made. Lots of decisions to be made. But okay, they are drawing, and yeah, we'll see how much usage they get from this heron. Uh, just in terms of being able to get the food for the wagtail bird, can definitely see some value there. Um, but okay, we are... Yeah, we're going to stick to our original plan. We'll keep the seeds. Come on. We want to do... Oh, actually, I suppose we want to do like that. Yeah, that works. Get this great tip down. And okay. Yeah, 35 points. To be fair, and uh, being respectful... It's not looking like loads of points on this side either, so this might just be a low-scoring affair. It might be who can, you know, get the highest number in the 80s. Um, Catbird in the forest. Okay, I think that definitely makes sense. Get more food going. But okay, so they can't... Yeah, they'll take food. Uh, maybe another double play? <laughs> uh, or say another double play. They didn't do one earlier. Uh, but maybe they can double play to win this end around. We'll see. Maybe we stick to our guns anyway. Uh, we need that berry, so we'll take it. And we need that seed, so we'll take that. We need that seed, so we'll take that. And another seed. We'll just take all the seeds. Uh, very, very helpful with this house spray. So Screech Owl. It's going to be the bane of my existence, this Screech Owl. Very, very annoying. Well, Partridge would have been fun earlier. And I'm wondering now, I think... Um, I think we do go for the Sprague's Pippet because 
then there could be another behaviorist opportunity in that fourth column where we're going to double play and we just need a pink or a teal in the wetlands and I can think of some options that work with that so let's pick up the pipit um, at least as an option for now because this partridge can go and uh, yeah still no tucking so I think this uh, I think this is still worth playing but, um, oh no, I should have taken another worm. Because if I want to play this. Yeah. That was maybe a mistake. Oh, that's, yeah, what am I talking about? This is going to be my grass and bed. So I don't need the Sprague's Pippet. I didn't need to pick that up. It's fine. Don't, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's what I think that's potentially one food. Um, that I cost myself there by not paying attention. But yeah, they're taking food, so... Okay, they, they I mean, they physically can't double play because they're not got enough eggs. So that's reassuring. Um, but yeah, so if we play Flycatcher now, we have one, two, three, four for the Flycatcher, five, and then six. So we can then play three birds in the wetlands. And we would only have two birds with eggs left. I think I think if all goes to plan, I think we can end up with ten birds with no eggs on that last in around. Uh, my opponent might be able to challenge on that. But we'll see. Uh, but I think, yeah, this flycatcher does go down. Kind of wishing I kept Prairie Manager almost actually here, because with this pipit as well, could be getting some points, but yeah, Behaviorist still got points to come on that. Uh, that is going to be uh, potentially key for us here, so... We are going to take our eggs. And it's very tempting. It's very tempting to skip two. Just because of the end around. But I can't even begin to try and foresee what that last end around has in store. So um, let's not try and preempt. Let's just take the points while we get them. And yeah, that was a big play. So 43. And we're going to get four off the Sparrow. And some end around points. I don't know. It's, it's all going to be in this last round because some of these plays, hopefully this double play, that's sort of what I'm holding out for. But yeah, if we can get nine behaviorist points coming in that we don't currently have, uh, that is that is going to go a long way to help him. But um, okay, they get their one hooded crow tuck to pick up something in the tray that they didn't pay attention to. And we'll see if they're going to play. Probably a grass and bird here, if I had to guess. Because I think you are going to want to only lay eggs once in that last round. Um, and getting the extra eggs there is going to be key. And not having to spend the food. Um, so we'll see if that's what they go with. But No, still a shay. <laughs> oh man, I feel like... Uh... I feel like they're dealing with our like dirty leftovers here. The the hobby that we turned our nose up at, the J as well. <laughs> Uh, both going down, so that's quite entertaining. But yeah, we'll take our uh, take our tucks with the sparrow. So that's nice. And yeah, another tie on this other round goal. So we'll see how that plays out going into this final round. But please, 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 Wingspan, give me a pink or a teal power that can go in the wetlands. And I'll very much appreciate it. I would also appreciate if you could give me more seeds on these rerolls. Thank you. That's, that's much better. Um, so we'll grab these. Screech House finally going to work as well. Um, and okay. Oh, there we go. Okay, and actually, that works for the inner round goal. Uh, but no eggs, so that could be a good little snipe um, coming our way. Never been so happy to see a Chetty's Warbler. Um, I, was, I was sort of excited at the White Stalk, but yeah. Chetty's Warbler, I think, could be. I don't know. We'll see. We'll, uh, we're going to keep hold of both. That's why I got rid of the uh, the Swakes Pippet there, because, you know, this is more than Chetty's plus Behaviorist. So we have got to bear that in mind. Uh, I've got to bear that in mind. But yeah, as I say, if uh, if this does give us an 11th bird for the end of round goal, I could see that being yeah, worth going for purely from uh, from a points perspective but we'll, we'll, we'll maybe try and hold our cards close to our chest we might find something better we might find something better 
So we're not going to commit and play now. We're going to keep taking food, I think. And certainly for as long as there are some seeds. Please don't take them all with the J. Uh, as long as there are some seeds in the feeder. Oh, we can grab those. And get to work. But yeah, this, uh, as like I say, it's going to be a low scoring game. Certainly from my perspective. Um, they might have some big plays. We know actually they have got that puffin, so that's going to go down. Um, but yeah, so how do you play this end of round? Got no eggs, so you have to lay eggs once. Play one bird. Hmm. They can't play two birds this round. So, they might have, I don't know, I suppose you could lay eggs twice and then do a double play. But then you need more food, and I'm not really sure they've got that either. So maybe taking food is the extra turn. Um, I think they, I think if I had to guess... I think they're going to try and end on 11 birds as well, um, in which case I think this chitty would uh, would come in handy, but we're thinking way ahead here, we're going to go ahead and take food and that's what we like to see. That's what we like to see and that is also what we like to see, so I think we're actually, we're almost going to have too many seeds here, so we need one here, one here, um, but it's good to get those ready now. And okay, well, House Finch again. Where were you earlier? Where were you earlier? But okay. So, yeah, I think we're... I think everything's on track. I think everything's on track. We're going to play Snow Bunting. Um, we're going to take food. One last time. And do that double play. And let the points rain in. Okay, yeah, they are taking food an extra time. See, so yeah, they do still want to draw cards. This is the thing, and Wagtail is strong, but when so many of your turns are not getting a lot of resources or points, I mean, I suppose these bird feeder rerolls are working out very well for them because they can double cash on the J. Seems like they did that maybe last turn, but yeah, like, you know, you've got to draw cards, zero points. Taking food is not a lot of points. Same for me, not a lot of points, if any. Uh, but okay, they're not double cashier, but look, lots of food, so yeah, I think it's going to be lay eggs, it's going to be play um, play puff in, and then draw cards, and then play something else with uh, whatever you found, so um, that makes sense. Do we do we just take food now? Uh, I don't know. I, I, I'm sort of like, there's no point playing this in but I think then I'm going to tuck. I'd rather give myself another chance of finding something, and the food is there that I want. You know, I want uh, I want the fish. I maybe want another worm and another seed for good luck. So you know, we'll take some more fish and more rats. Maybe they, you know, maybe we're going to find. Uh, uh, do we think we're going to find another double play? I think we might find a grey leg goose. So I'm going to aspirationally take more seeds in the hope of grey leg goose. So we'll see. No, it's other good birds to be honest. Big point, Galenul. Uh Wouldn't have minded, but. Yeah, okay, well we've got our we've got our last two plays lined up. So snow bunting. What's that gonna be seven points? It's not bad. Well that's a very quick turn. Yeah, laying their eggs. Okay, so I think it is gonna be puffin. Um that's gonna come in. So okay, time for Yeah. Time for snow bunting. Um clear out. Doesn't matter where. And yeah, I think I think they're going to feel very secure in this end around. I don't think they're maybe they're expecting a double play in coming. I don't know if this her heron was in the tray or if I top decked it, but um, yeah, I think I don't think they're going to expect a double play into Chetty's Warbler. I'm going to say that much. So that might at least catch them off guard. Um, and yeah, we might might be able to get a tie, or might, actually, we might be able to get a win here because they laid. They discarded an egg and they laid extra eggs on the... Or they discarded extra food they laid extra eggs on the wagtail. That might be costly. Because um, now they have to draw cards if they want to use the wagtail. And there... Oh, actually, no. Well, I don't know. Maybe, actually, by me double play, because I have to go before them, they're going to be aware and they're going to throw the card for an extra egg. So this is actually an interesting position where if the turn order was flipped, I think I could have finessed uh, 
an end of round goal win, but yeah, we can't do that here because we're we're having to go before them. So yeah, I think I think this Chetty's Warbler, like I say, I think it I think it basically it's gonna get a I think it gets a tie instead of a loss because it put me on eleven. I think they're gonna end on eleven as well because they're gonna the best case for them is eleven. So it's either a win instead of a tie or a tie instead of a loss. I feel like I've said that line many, many times um, in this game. But yeah, we do uh, do get this double play in. And lovely, lovely, lovely nine point behavior. So we'll definitely take that. Um, I'm not going to look at the score. <laughs> partly because I don't want to see how low it is, but partly because I want to keep it a little bit in suspense um, as we do go into the final scores. But yeah, we have... Um, we have got our 11 birds down, so we'll see. Like I say, I think the I think the quote unquote quote correct play is to discard the egg off the wagtail, so that when you play with the wagtail, you discard the other two eggs and you have your 11 birds. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe they've got another. Maybe they've got, they've got their own teal power um, that can count double. Maybe they found the grey lag goose or the or the or the green woodpecker. So. Remains to be seen on that. Um, that would definitely put a spanner in the works. But they didn't. Okay, so they didn't discard the egg. So we'll see. Because, um, yeah, they can't They can't double play. That's the thing. If they had four eggs, you could double play and, and win. But, um, yeah, obviously not playing with Oceania, you don't have those birds that give you a, a discount. So you can't quite steal in that sense. But we'll get our five Cs off the House Sparrow. Definitely glad I got a hold of that. Um, yeah, being able to double play into that helped that second end round. Having it down helped me tie, I think, the third end round and maybe tie, maybe win this fourth one. But behaviors points, um, nine tucks, use some of these extra seeds. Very, very helpful. So, what is the situation? We do win. So, thank you, Chetty's Warbler. You've done a great job. I have no idea what bird they played. We'll find out soon. But first, we've got to see these scores. So, as I say, we should count out quite quickly. How close is it going to be? We are ahead on birds, so I'll take that. Bonus cards, though, very, very strong for them. End of rounds, I think, was quite close. Yeah, we split them. So eggs, food on cards. But we know we've got a lot of tucks with the house sparrow. We do just about <laughs> squeak the win. <laughs> 83 to 79. So, yeah, that was a, that was a low-scoring game. Definitely not a classic. Definitely not one for the archives. Um, but wood duck, yeah, kind of saved a, a pretty bad starting hand situation. Um, and helped us get over the line. But yeah, we'll take a look at their situation. What do they have in terms of bonus cards? Okay, Omni, pretty nice. Well, and Scientist, Puffin helps with that. And Enclosure Builder. And Food Web, so Long Spur was the play. Bit of a Hail Mary. Not a bad find, but yeah, pretty pretty okay bonus cards. Nothing amazing, but nothing terrible either. But yeah, just maybe maybe a little bit slow getting the Wagtail out. But yeah, not, um, not those great sort of brown powers I think that you need to get uh, Wagtail to work. But yeah, they did have some good options. So like Bold Eagle, you play that as well. That's a nice big point option. But yeah, we just about did enough. I'd say nine point behaviorist. Um, Chetty's Warbler coming in clutch, maybe helping us out there and getting us over the line for the win. And that is a series win as well. Go through in two games here in this first round. So um, yeah, we're going to be going through. Always good. And uh, if you want to see our future games in this tournament, please do make sure you subscribe. Um, yeah, do stay tuned. I'm going to get as many of the features as I can. Uh, hopefully I'll see you again very soon for one of those games.